In financial transactions, cash flows from one party to another. This first video explains you how to value cash flows. To set the scene, fix a capital unit, say 1 euro, and a time unit, say 1 year. Our notation uses zero to denote the present moment, that's right now, and k refers to k time units in the future. The amount of money to be received or paid at time k is CK, that's the cash flow at time k. Here's an example of a sequence of cash flows. This vector has eight entries. The first one corresponds to time zero and the last one to time seven. You create this vector in R with entries 500, 400, 300, and then repeat 200 five times using the rep function. The length of the vector cash flows is eight as expected. The timeline at the bottom shows a general notation for a cash flow vector which starts from C0 at time 0 and runs up to Cn at time n. The length of this vector is n plus 1. It is crucial to value a cash flow vector. Two things are important. The timing of cash flows and the time value of money. The time value of money implies that a euro that is available to you right now is worth more than a euro that is promised to you in the future. That's because the euro that you own today can be invested and grow. This growth is determined by the interest rate. Let's assume a constant interest rate, say I. This is the interest earned over one time period. The timeline on the left illustrates how one euro at time zero grows to 1.03 euro at time one. At the right side, the discount vector V describes the inverse operation. One euro at time one discounts to one over one plus I euro, or V euro at time zero. That's 0 0.97 euro in our example. You can extend this idea to K time periods instead of just one. The timeline on the left shows how 1 euro at time 0 grows to 1 plus i to the power k euro at time k. Or, in terms of v, the discount vector, that's v to the power minus k euro. In the R code, you see how this works with k equals 2 and a rate of 3%. You obtain 1.06 euro at time 2. The timeline on the right shows how 1 euro at time k discounts to v to the power k euro at time 0. From the R code, you learn that 1 euro at time 2 is worth 0 0.94 euro at time 0. Your goal is now to calculate the value at time 0 of the cash flows on this timeline. The first cash flow, 500 euro, is at time 0 and the last one, 200 euro, is at time 7. This value at time 0 is called the present value. You find it by discounting each cash flow to time 0 and then taking the sum. Define the interest rate i of 3% and the corresponding discount vector v. The vector discount factors stores the applicable discount factors obtained by raising v to the power 0 to 7, and cash flows stores the cash flows from time 0 to 7. By multiplying both vectors element-wise, you obtain the present value of each of the cash flows. For example, 200 euro at time 7 is worth 162.6 euro at the present time. Finally, to obtain the present value of the entire cash flow vector, sum the discounted cash flows from the previous step. Now it's your turn to value some cash flows in R.